हेलो पीपल वेलकम टू दिस चैनल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज वीडियो विच इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ब्रेस्ट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन सर्जरी एंड इट इज अ वेरी हाई लिंक टॉपिक फॉर नीट पी जी एन एफ एम जी एग्जाम्स विथ द basic uh, structures of uh, which are present in the female breast which uh, which are nipples we have uh, the tissue around the nipples which is called areola then we have the lobules lobules are only present in uh, females and not in males because lobules are the structures in which milk production takes place and then we have uh, the ducts which connect lobules and the nipples and the milk which is formed in the lobules are carried out through the through these ducts to the nipples then uh, let's talk about some facts on breast cancer breast cancer is the most common cancer occurring in females worldwide uh, but let me tell you in india the cervical cancer stands the first then uh, we have uh, if you are a male and you think you cannot get breast cancer then probably you are wrong because breast cancer can also occur in males but uh, but the incidence of breast cancer occurring in males are um, like relatively common uh, relatively less than females but yes it can occur and also the most uh, common uh, place which uh, where the breast cancer occurs is left breast and outer upper quadrant of the left breast let's talk about now some risk factors which are associated with breast cancer basically all the factors which uh, which uh, in which increases the risk of uh, uh, high levels of estrogen are the risk factors uh, responsible for breast cancer like you have nulliparity like uh, uh, late age at first pregnancy early menarche late menopause uh use of oral contraceptions for more than 4 years as uh, this is an exogenous estrogen which you are taking in then uh, uh, then uh, a female uh, on long long term of uh, uh, long term on hrt therapy hrt is a hormonal replacement therapy yeah so this also increases the risk of uh, your breast cancer now the exposure to any ionizing radiations for any kind of cancer to the chest this can also increase the uh, risk for breast cancer then you have des exposure in early age des is diethyl ethyl esterol uh, so exposure to this chemical in early age also increases the risk of breast cancer now the genetic uh, mutations like braca1 and braca2 are responsible for increased risk in breast cancer braca1 is mainly associated with female breast cancer and braca2 mutation is mostly associated with male breast cancer now the family history uh, positive for ovarian cancer or endometrial cancer or either breast cancer this all increases the um, risk of breast cancer in the family uh, also uh, not written here but obesity high fat diet are also the risk factors for breast cancers now according to who who has classified breast cancers into three broad categories uh, these are in situ carcinoma invasive uh, cancers and packet disease of nipple in situ carcinoma includes uh, uh, ductal carcinoma in situ and lobular carcinoma in situ whereas invasive carcinoma includes a lot of invasive cancers of breast which we will see in the next slide so here are invasive carcinomas of breast which includes uh, invasive lobular carcinoma invasive ductal carcinoma invasive ductal carcinoma is the most uh, common uh, breast cancer occurring in females then we have papillary carcinoma which is the least common one then tubular carcinoma which is also called cribriform carcinoma it is least malignant and it has best prognosis then we have medullary carcinoma metaplastic carcinoma then lastly we have infl inflammatory uh, breast cancer which is most malignant and it is it has worse prognosis 
now as i told you that the lobules are only present in uh, males then uh, not in oh, sorry the lobules are only present in females and not in males so the lobular carcinomas are seen exclusively in females and they are not seen in males other type of carcinomas are seen but not the uh, lobular ones now this talking about the symptoms the symptoms which are present in case of breast cancer are breast lump breast lump is the most common presentation with which the patient presents to the doctor then you can have uh, breast pain um, then we can have retracted nipples you can have change in the shape of uh, breast uh, breast contour change in breast contour visual asymmetry between the two uh, breasts also uh, you have a few signs diagnosis we have three steps to follow first starting with initial assessment initial assessment includes uh, history taking and physical examination on physical examination you find the signs which we uh, just talk about uh, and then you go for imaging tests tests imaging includes ultrasound of the breast and mammography um then uh, lastly you have uh, pathological you have to confirm with pathological examination in this uh, you go for either fine needle aspiration biopsy or you do core biopsy and uh, this three tests together when done can give you a 99% accurate uh, confirmation for breast cancer and this three together is called triple assessment of breast cancer to diagnose it then now a few one liners investigation of choice for screening of breast cancer is mammography and also the first investigation which is to be done in the patient uh, is mammography but uh, don't confuse the investigation of choice for the diagnosis of breast cancer is biopsy and not so mammography so that was all for today's video hope you like it if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel and stay connected with me thank you so much for watching